I change not. So the Bible tell us, God, he said, I am the Lord, I change not. Yeah. So the same thing that happened in the beginning is the same thing that happened today. Because us as people, we now, think we take love as all. Oh, you can do whatever you want and not get no judgment for it. No, we may not say that directly, but that's what we say. Because God gave us things that we must do. said I should not commit adultery. Because what happens, this is the thing what happens. I don't want to go too far reading. This is the book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 16 and verse 12. For it was neither herb nor modified plaster that restored them to health, uh -huh. but thy word, O Lord, which healeth all things. So a lot of people say that they smoke weed to uh, help their cataract or to help uh, ease their mind. But yet, it, right, but it says then, it's not the herb that's gonna do that. The Most High God is gonna give us peace. It's that's the Most right. High God that do those things. And outside of that, what when you smoke weed, what does it? What does that? What does weed do to your inside? Your your brain. Mess up your brain, kills brain cells, and mess up your lungs. Get that in first Corinthians. Get that in first Corinthians. Think about weed. Even and then, even then, the weed that people smoke today is not the it's not from the earth. It's created in the lab and pushed through our community. It's not the same thing. Read that. This is the book of First Corinthians, chapter three, and verse seventeen. Uh -huh. If any man defile the temple of God, so now it says, if any man defile God's temple, read, him shall God destroy. It says God would destroy that person. So when you smoke weed, you smoke cigarettes, you smoke all that stuff, it destroys your lungs. That's right. You're destroying your temple. Our bodies, the, the Israel, the nation of Israel, our bodies is the house of the Holy Spirit. That's right. The Most High God dwells in us when we keep in the commandments. So why would us, as the, as the gods of the earth, as God's children, why would we put filth in our body? Why would we destroy our body? Because that, there's a payment when we do that. Read. Verse 16, know ye not that ye are the temple of God, uh -huh. and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? Uh -huh. So if we are the temple, the nation of Israel, we are the temple of God. And the, the Spirit of God is supposed to dwell in us, which is his law. Read. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. So it says, if any man defiles God's temple, it says God will destroy that man. So if you're smoking weed, you destroying your temple. The guy say, you destroying your temple, I'm gonna destroy you. Because we're not supposed to smoke weed. We're not supposed to smoke squares. Right. And and, and black and mouths. That's right. All of those things defile our body. Our body was not designed to take that. And even then, the Bible don't tell us to smoke anything. Right. Our people love to go and smoke, smoke some weed. Oh, this my the Bible, go. yeah, go ahead. Nice talk to y'all too. Make sure y'all keep this life. They talk to y'all personally. Yeah, talk to y'all personally. We're going to get in contact. They make it to keep us in sin. Turn to uh, Judah chapter 5 and 20. Listen to this real quick. This is the book of Judah, chapter 5 and verse 20. Now, therefore, my Lord and governor, 
if there be any error in this people. So this is in our history. This is one of the times when we was in the uh, Persian captivity or the Syrian captivity. And, and they, this is the generals before they was to come up to us to attack us for war. Read. And they sin against their God. Uh-huh. And it says if they sin against their God, read. Let us consider that this shall be their ruin. So the nations know when we in the midst of sin, when we breaking God's commandments, when we not doing what he told us to do, that that's our ruin, that the nations will come against us, that they can come against us and they gonna, they'll be able to overcome us, read. And let us go up and we shall overcome them. This says let us go up and we shall overcome them, meaning if we out of line, we not doing what God told us to do, the nations are gonna attack us because they know that God is not gonna fight for us, right. read. But if there be no iniquity in their nation. Meaning if we are keeping God's commandments, we doing what we're supposed to do. Not smoking weed, not getting drunk, not getting high, not sleeping around, read. Let my Lord now pass by. It said, let my Lord now pass by. Hey, leave him alone, why? Least their Lord defend them. Because their God is gonna defend them. If they in order, they doing what they supposed to do, their God gonna defend them, read. And their God, before them, and we become a real approach before all the world. Meaning that when, when we are keeping God's commandments, we doing what we're supposed to do, God gonna fight for us. Right. If a nation come up against us, God gonna hold us down. But when we not doing what the Bible say do, God turns his back and they gonna be able to destroy us. That's why we should not be smoking. The reason it's out there is for us to be in sin. The, the solution to the problems in our community, the solution to the gang bank, so the solution to getting rid of stopping our men from selling drugs and killing each other. Right. The solution is, in, is found in the Bible. The solution to getting rid of the single parent household. The solution is found in the Bible. In Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 29. So we, what I said, the Bible has all the solutions to fix our community. Right. Read. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. So the Bible, this is a law of God. It says that y'all should not pros prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. How do we as a people prostitute our daughter? By allowing them to go outside with little clothing on, showing off their bodies to men that's not their husbands. That's prostituting your daughter. We are supposed to be teaching our young ladies how to dress as women, That's how right. to cover themselves up, how to keep themselves pure for their husband That's when they right. get married. But all too often in our communities, our young women are not taught that. Right. Our young women are not taught to, to dress modestly. Give me that in first two. To dress modestly. How you doing, sis? Oh, you're sorry. Are you all right? What's your nationality, sis? What's your nationality? Mexican. Did you know that the Bible is your history book? Did you know that you were an Israelite according to the Bible? My brother, come over here real quick. You all right? You believe in the Bible? Huh? Come on, come on. We just want to be out, be out here to talk with our people. Be out here to, to dialogue with the Bible. That's right. Children. Yes, I do. I have a two, I got two sons. You love your, you love your son, right? Yes, I do. If you give them instructions and they don't do it, what's the consequence? The consequence is. Or, it, or do they oh, get consequences? Oh, now I'm gonna go way back to you now. No, listen. Or what God listen. gave Adam and Eve gave them 
consequences. Answer the question. If they, they didn't follow God, man, right. you what happened? They, they, there was judgment. But right. And then the thing, the thing about it is, they lived by 900 some years. Right. Way more than that. But they couldn't go back into God. Exactly. They were judged. This is the book of Malachi, chapter 3 and verse 6. For I am the Lord, I change not. So the Bible tell us, God, he said, I am the Lord, I change not. So the same thing that happened in the beginning is the same thing that happened today. Because us as people, we think we take love as all. You can do whatever you want and not get no judgment for it. No, we may not say that directly, but that's what we say. But you remember, uh, because God gave us things that we must do. It, it was a verse in the Bible. I'm recording it. I can Google it. Uh-huh. Uh, it was a verse, uh, I think, for the Lord or something like that. They found him drunk. His son found him drunk. Right. And they died. He was drunk there. And God struck his son drunk. For laughing at the uh -huh. laughing at the He cursed him. Uh -huh. I'm a Bible scholar, man. I, 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 I know a lot. See, sometimes what's the, people. What's, the, what's your sometimes, purpose? Sometimes, what's the purpose of bringing that up? Sometimes people can talk to people. See the lack of understanding. Okay. Of Let me people. ask you this: How lack do we get the kingdom of heaven? Let me ask you this: How do we get the kingdom of heaven? We get the kingdom of heaven for understanding. How do what? What do we? What must we do to get the kingdom of heaven? Uh, obey the law. And what are the laws? The laws are the laws that uh, Jehovah God created. What are they? What are some of those laws? Obey your brother, understand your brother, understand. Because you, know, you said brother. you said that you are a Bible scholar, yeah, right? I'm about to, I'm about so to if you're a Bible scholar, you should be able to give me a scripture that yeah, tells me tell what we're supposed to okay, do to, but, keep, to, be, to uh, get the kingdom of heaven. Uh, uh, when, when you have to obey the Ten Commandments. Got to honor the well, ain't what nobody else? on this, ain't nobody on earth. I don't think do that. But what they got to do? What does that have to do with what God told us to do? Because if you if you told your children to do something, and then they said, "Well, my I was at my friend's house, and his 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 mother let him do this," you like you gonna say, "Oh, so she let you do that? And I'm gonna let you." Do that. But you gonna say, "No, this is my house. I told you that you need to do this. Or you need to, I told you you need to." Do this. That's the same thing. The same saying, thing. God saying, gave us. It ain't about what everybody's doing. God gave us specific things that we must do. So I'm gonna give you a scripture to answer know, that I'm question. That. Read that. that. Listen to this. <clears throat> this is Matthew. Yeah, Matthew 19. This the oh, book. Right. This the book of Matthew, chapter 19, and verse 16. And behold, one king, one king, is said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So a young man came up to Christ and asked, him, Hey. What must I do that I can get eternal life? Yeah. Let's see what Christ told him. Yeah. Read. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? So first Christ corrected him. He said, Why you calling me good? I'm a man just like you. There's only one good God. Read. There is none good but one. Uh huh. That is God. Read. But if thou wilt enter into life. So now he answering his question. If you will enter into life, if you will get eternal life, if you will get the kingdom, read. Keep the commandments. Keep the commandments. The Bible, he said, keep the commandments. So the way that we get ourselves right, the way we fix the communities in Chicago, is by keeping the commandments. That's Read. Right. Chicago, Let's see what some of those things are. In the world. He no, said, listen. He said unto him, which Jesus. He said unto him, which Jesus said. So now the said, guy said, okay, keep the commandments, but which ones? Read. Thou shalt do no murder. Thou shalt not murder. If the men, if the young men in Chicago applied that one law, we we, we eliminate the murder in Chicago. Read. Always. This is the the Bible is the solution to our fixing our community. Read. Thou should not commit adultery. Thou should not commit adultery. What's adultery? Somebody else, wife, or husband, or husband stepping out on his wife. That's adultery. That happens all throughout our community. And under under adultery, you have fornication. You have homosexuality. All of those fall under adultery. If we applied these laws, yes, this we have. If we applied these laws, when that if, if we if we applied the law not commit adultery, that would eliminate single parent households. That's right. 
That would elite, eliminate our young daughters getting yeah, pregnant that's, that's at 16, true, 17 true. years old. That's true. That's that, true. This, this, this will I, fix I, our community. I, I, I agree with that one percent. And then I agree. And abortion. And abortion. And I agree it with, will prevent I, all I, of that. I, I agree with you. Read. Read. Thou shalt not steal. Thou nope. shalt not steal. And remember, we read. Kill, yeah. Remember, we're reading what the Bible says for us to get the kingdom of God. So it's keeping the commandments. That, read. That's the commandment with Moses. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Say what? That's what Moses did. But we read what Christ said. Moses, Christ gave that to Moses. But we read what Christ said. The young man asked him, what, what, what must I do to get eternal life? And, that's and now we're no, reading. I'm with you. I'm now we, okay, you read what you're reading. Okay, yeah. read. no, thou shalt not bear false witness. Thou shalt not bear false witness. So thou shalt not lie. That's what happens in our community. A lot of times, young men get shot. Why? Because somebody lied on them. That's what's going on. But if we just apply it, if we applied these these small things that we just read, if we just oh, applied them, our community would be fixed. That's right. Yeah. Because most of the stuff, like there was some young men up here early. But you got there was about like, six of them. Yeah. Two of them looking around. A car oh, rolled around. Car car they looking around, looking around. Two of them walked up. The same car ran. They ran. Why? Because they fear that they finna get something to have. They fear something. Yeah. But if we just keeping this commandment. We shouldn't have to worry about that being amongst each other. Read on. Honor thy father and thy mother. Oh, man. This don't exist no more. It says, honor thy father and mother. Exactly. You know what? But our young men don't do that. I just made 50 and made a curse. And guess what? My mama and daddy passed away in my fourth. And they, the death did them apart. That's how, it's, that's how it's supposed to be. Right. That's see, that's thou shalt not commit adultery. They, they were together my, and they were they remained together. Away. And so how long my mama was with him? Well, but we took care of them. But they That's how it's supposed to be. That's how if 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 imagine if that was duplicated across our community. Right. We wouldn't have the problems that we had. I born in nineteen seventy. All praise that you're still here, but the reason you're still here is that you can get the true understanding of the Bible I, as you get I, I, to I'm that still, to the I'm still glad I'm still here because a lot of my friends did not make back home. I fought in three wars. Okay. I fought in Afghanistan, Coast War, and Iraq. And those are good experiences. Those are experiences that you would use but a lot to of my learn friends did not and keep the commandments, and you use those experiences to guide your people in the right direction. What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 